らいいなんかグーのことになってくるみたいなけど<笑> So, excuse me if I seem a little preoccupied. I'm trying to like desperately cross this road that just seems to not want anyone to walk across it. I keep thinking I'm like missing the green light. But it's Saturday. I can't, I have no clue the last thing you guys have seen. I'm so backed up on video that I should have edited and things that I should have been getting. No, completely just not on top of the ball on that course.、Uh, I'm recording. The things that need to be recorded, because really, I mean, <laughs> recording everything just for the sake of recording everything is just gonna get a bunch of just crap to have to watch or to have to edit through and、no, just waste the time. So,、uh, Wednesday passed this week, and、uh, I don't, I'm damn sure by now, at least if I'm, if I'm editing this correctly, <laughs>、uh, you guys haven't seen much of that at all. You may, you may have seen me kind of preface the fact that I had to、um, I had to go out Wednesday night to begin with, but、uh, I have、uh, I have no clue how much of you have seen that. So I'm just going to assume you know that I went to a party on Wednesday for one of the American students, but you haven't seen anything yet. So let me try and just describe to you exactly how screwed up that night ended up becoming. It's like five. <laughs> It's like five, and.、Um, The、uh, classes are ending, and we all try and group up because no one knows where we're going. We leave the school, and no one still knows where we're going, but we have a pretty good idea. One of the students ends up wanting to go to、uh, this Thai restaurant, Thai kind of bar restaurant thing. Super small, a little worried about space, but he thinks, hey, it's close.、We're、kind of first stop, and、uh, <laughs> it's the guy's.、Uh, 20th birthday, so the, 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 the point of our、uh, adventures here is to at least go to places that have something to drink for everybody. Now, I mean, this thing, <laughs> yeah,、uh, yeah. If, you, if you need to need a drink, you at least still get something to eat. But every restaurant we end up going to costs far too much. Some are better than others, but this Thai restaurant wasn't actually that bad. Had a good atmosphere. It was small, but it still worked. Now, after the Thai restaurant, everyone kind of heads out. Everyone heads out uh, uh, of this little, just super small space, and now we still don't know where to go. Now, I, I may have been confused then, I'm still kind of confused now as to kind of how to get this camera position. I keep going back and forth, it's like no good s m a l It's all it's like right behind me now, so. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that, but the, uh, uh, the night continued to get a little more confusing.、Uh, after the Thai restaurant, we jumped onto the Han Zono line. Because apparently, you can go straight from Kudansha right to Shibuya. Excuse the construction, I hope you, I hope you can hear me.、Uh, Yeah, we get on the、uh, Hanzomo line and we're all collecting down there in this big, just festering group of foreigners trying to find their way onto the next location. Hoping to God we're all going the right way. But enough people have taken that route. I, 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 I took the JR last Friday, but enough people that knew where they were going, so I just laid my trust in them. We got through it totally easy. Not too much of a problem. Unfortunately, we pop out of Shibuya. Still a little confused on to where we're going and how we're getting there. And I don't even remember now. Well, yes, I do. Oh, right. We had to meet up with some friends.、Uh, two others to make our group of 10 grow into a group of 12, making it even harder for us to get anywhere. But of course, we try to,、uh, we try to meet up, and they're, they're already at some different restaurants. They've been out like all day. And now it's like super cramped in the location they're in, and they want to stay there. Because、uh, they were at the finish at the night. They've been, they've been out for almost six hours at this point. So we have to find a new location for us. We just start aimlessly wandering around and we end up finding this like cool looking place from the outside. We get, in, we, we get inside, there's enough space for all of us. We sit down and the place is super ritzy. Super ritzy. By then, though, we couldn't just leave. We'd already kind of amassed inside of this location. There weren't a whole lot of people there.、Uh, we had 
we kind of sit down and we have to take our shoes off, right? Uh, for, for the, we get these like super cool ass seats. We take our shoes off just to sit down in them. And this is completely, yeah, I mean, we, we ain't, we're not at McDonald's anymore. All right, this is, this is just a little too fancy for anyone's wallets. We were starting to get a little worried and we hadn't even opened up the, um, we hadn't even opened up the uh, menus yet. So, once we are done uh, kind of collecting ourselves and we start looking around, we notice that the place is expensive. Not the most expensive place at all, not even, but definitely expensive. And uh, people are still trying to enjoy themselves though, so people are trying to make some orders and I'm kind of sitting down like, hey look, I don't need a drink, I'm not really even that hungry right now, and even if I was, I wouldn't want to be spending my money here, the little of it that I have. It's not because I'm trying to be a, be a big party pooper, but it's because, hey, look, there's like 10 people. All right, I mean, you can't really have too much of a collective group. If I just grab some water, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself more talking to the people around me than I am with some, you know, meal. Because now, I mean, we, this isn't just two people going back and forth. This is a big group, so can't be too much of a problem. Uh, I'll just try and get some water. Nope, I can't get water. I have to order something. Everyone has to order something. And while I know that's kind of the expectation of people going to a restaurant, they're coming in there to order, so of course it's probably going to be a rule that if you aren't coming in there, or you have a party of four, and only three people order, you're kind of wasting that seat in the restaurant, and if it's already small, I get it. Mathematically it makes sense, but that's a little fucked up. I got a group of ten people, four people that are missing, the more money the restaurant made me losing, but when everything on your menu costs like 600 yen or more, I can't even get a Coca-Cola without spending 400 fucking yen. It's ridiculous. Now, I end up finding like some little sausage thing that barely, it was fucking, I mean, whatever, it tasted okay, and the sauce that came with was alright, but it cost, you know, four bucks for me to buy, and then I get some water on the side. So, I mean, it's not like I, I, I went bust, but the worst thing of the entire trip to that location had nothing to do with how expensive the menu was compared to what you were getting for. It had to do with this, sorry, it had to do with this, this crazy service fee that was associated with the restaurant. Like, I don't know how common this is. I'm going to hope to God that it ain't too common, but it's the first time I've ever experienced it, not necessarily the first time I've ever heard of it. The service fee had nothing to do with the group of, sorry, the, the, the number of people in our group. That I could expect. The service fee had nothing to do with, uh, sorry, with, with certain things that we may or may not have ordered. Or, 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 or the number of people in the group that were buying alcohol or not. No, it had nothing to do with that either. The service fee had to do with us being foreign. Now, I didn't say that. The service fee specifically stated something along the lines of, uh, since our employees uh, take their time to learn, to learn English, or learn a foreign language, to provide you with the, with the perfect service, we request that, that uh, for every order there's a $400, no, sorry, a 400 yen surcharge, kind of like an extra charge on, on, top, on top of your meal to provide you with excellent service. That is ridiculous. It's ridiculous for two reasons. First reason, the waiter that came up immediately, without asking us, started speaking English. It's not like he asked, hey, can you guys speak Japanese? Or, hey, is English okay? Or none of, none of that. He immediately jumped into English because he assumed that none of us could speak Japanese. Now that's fine. That yeah, maybe he's just trying to make us feel comfortable, and I got that. But after that, no one sitting, sitting down spoke in English, and if they did, they didn't speak it for more than maybe one or two words. The majority of everyone was speaking specifically Japanese, because we were just so accustomed to it at that point. I mean, even if someone comes to you in English, you're going to respond in Japanese, especially if you know how, what, what you're saying. And everyone knows how to fucking order food, so it wasn't that hard. So at the end of the meal, because we, we keep going back and forth about it, we're like, hey, is that 400 yen thing really real? Is it going to go for everyone? Is it just one flat rate for the entire table? No. Everyone was charged it. Everyone at that table could have ordered in Japanese. No one there was expecting the English, the English service. Yet, the restaurant, seeing a big group of foreigners, knows that they're going to cash in and knows that they can get away with it. And they did. We all paid because we weren't going to make it. We, we may know how to order, but the majority of people sitting there 
do not know how to uh, argue their way out of that. And certainly didn't really want to create a big fiasco on some guy's birthday, right? Absolutely the most frustrating thing I've experienced. Far more frustrating than some weird miscalculations on my part with my monthly pass, or the fact that I may live so far away from the school and it's making it really hard for me to commute. No. All that shit, that's completely cultural and I got it. And that's my mistake. That restaurant completely fucking us with that charge, that was bullshit. However, we head on out of the restaurant, this completely ridiculous bullshit restaurant, and the group being still happy that they had the night and still happy to kind of be together and have one of those kind of nights with everyone that we just hadn't had up to that point. The group splits up and the group dwindled from 10 or 11, I'm pretty sure it was 10, people down to about six. And um, I was okay. It was getting kind of late at that point anyways. It was like nine-ish, 8.39. Well, I, no, I was not happy with that. I wanted a better night. It was the only night, because I had specifically requested for my host family that I could be out late. It's the only night that I had really had that I could just, just not care about time or anything. I just do whatever I wanted, and I wanted to take advantage of that. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to Outback Steakhouse. I'm going to Outback Steakhouse, because I saw the Shibuya and I want to go, and we're here, and I don't know the next time I'm going to be out here, so I'm going even if I'm going by myself. I don't care. <laughs> I start heading that way. And other people are like, fuck yeah, absolutely. The rest of the night's been shit. Why don't we just, <laughs> why don't we just end it on a completely flat note? I started heading over there and it was absolutely worth the time. It was expensive, but I got myself a motherfucking blooming onion and <laughs> a fucking Coke and spent like 14 bucks on that meal and regret it, uh, and don't regret it at all. So Outback Steakhouse is over, we're done. <laughs> Everyone's dispersing, but my night still is not over. Uh, now the group is doodled from six down to two, and it's just David and I. I, <laughs> I knew that I wanted uh, uh, to go back to the arcade that I went to. The, 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 the fight in me was still kind of lingering, and we, we go back to the same game center, sit down for some Street Fighter, play some other games, sort of, because didn't have a whole lot of money, and called it a night. So that was it. That was the night, that's the, uh, probably the most completely deconstructed story I'm gonna be able to tell for, from about anything that I've done so far. And the only reason I had to do that was just because I didn't have enough time with there being so many people around me to, re to really go over it. And I hope I remember as much as I need to from that night, because it's been like three or four days. But right now, uh, I'm almost over at uh, David's house. And, you guys remember this place? It's a school, I made a little joke about the little, uh, Whatever. So one day, it was like a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks, it was a weekend. It may have been last weekend, I, I can't remember. I just decided to walk around on a Saturday because it was super fucking sunny outside. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going down the same street. It was so weird that I ended up walking around. I found my way back eventually. Oh no, it wasn't last weekend. Fuck, maybe it was. No, well, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I now can completely find my way back there because goes down almost the same exact route I took that one day. I mean, at least the first he did that. So, um, I'm gonna go meet up with him, and as I said earlier, or, or did I say earlier, uh, him and I are gonna go watch a movie today. So that's gonna be our experience for today. It's gonna be the way we kill time. Unfortunately, the last little, like, 10% of my, of the ride to his house, I can't remember too well. Pretty sure I need to take a ride, like, really soon, so I'm gonna try and keep my eyes out for it. But, uh, <laughs> if you're thinking what I was kind of thinking to myself, um, then yes, I, I agree with you. It is completely uh, ridiculous that we're spending the time uh, uh, to go watch a movie today on a fucking absolutely beautiful fucking sunny day. I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. 